Okay, uh, welcome ulit sa Axel Engineering. Uh, ngayon ay nasa, nasa part 3 na tayo. Part 3 ng ating topic. How to estimate budgetary cost of a project. Materials plus labor. So, uh, bago tayo magpatuloy, subscribe, share, at saka like. At saka dun sa mga bagong nakakapanood, panoorin niyo po ang part 1. At the uh, party. So let us go now to the plan. Uh, to sa ating ano, last uh, two videos. So na explain ko na to ang uh, plano nito. At uh, dun sa mga bagong viewers, uh, pakipanood na lang po ang part 1 at part 2 para ma explain ang uh, plano at ang inyong mga detalye nito. So ngayon, kung tayo sa scope of work, katapos na po natin ang ano, sa part 1 yung uh, excavation at saka foundation works tapos yung concreting works sa so part 2 naman ay river works so nag-concentrate tayo sa river works okay so ngayon ang ating magiging focus ay itong ano nasa hidden line na doon ng red yan form works uh, ng column at beam trusses at saka roof framing so more on carpentry works po ito so, ang table natin ngayon, halos sa uh, one-third full na siya. So, yan. Uh, um, sa mga bagong viewers, panurin yung part 1, part 2 para maintindihan po yung ang presentation ng table na to. Okay? So, I have already explained how the table works. Okay? And if you are not using Excel, you can do it manually. Like these formulas here. Okay? Everything was being explained in part 1 as well as in part 2. So let us go now to the beam layout. So ito yung beam layout. So, yung dati, oh, sorry, this is uh, 3 meters. 3 meters. Okay. So 3 meters by 6 meters yung ating uh, floor area. At saka yung beam layout natin. Yeah. 3 meters, 3 meter beams. Yeah, 6 meters on the side. And on the short direction, 3 meters. Okay. So this is the beam section of the formworks. So I want you to uh, make a screenshot of this. I'm letting uh, you make a screenshot okay, there. And uh, in order to have the idea of uh, what is this, this is now the isometric drawing of freehand sketch. So this is for the column. And this is for the beam. So, makalagay tayo rito na 2 by 2 sa ibabaw. At the top, 2 by 2 at the top. Just to have an additional support. Okay? That we call the beam uh, formworks. Okay? So, to explain further, uh, we are going to attach, ikakabit natin siya rito, having a 2 inch lap on the ends for the hole and the 2 inch on the side for the beam. Okay. So, uh, let us go now to trusses. So, ito yung trusses na ginamit ko, uh, ang ginamit ko ay whole truss na ang height niya is 1 meter then ang kanyang uh, width is 3 of course yung lapad ng building 3 meters okay so 3 meters okay so yan ang ano yan ang sukat ngayon um, okay so ito naman yung layout ng part parties niya so, meron siyang tatlong trusses. So, pwede ka may tatlong trusses siya. Yung black na yan, black line. Tapos, yung red line siya yung bandits. Okay? So, yan yung uh, layout niya. Okay? So, screenshot niya na para mag-aralan nyo later on. Okay? So, put the screenshot now. Now, I'm going to uh, explain everything about the computation. So, I'll put the 
plan, the screen share the plan here. Let's go. layout the sections here of course the isometric flow behind sketch I made this for you guys to understand what this is all about okay the sections just to have a clearer view okay so you can just switch it Earnings, okay, here. Let us go now to the computation. We are going to solve for the quantities. Form works of B, so the length. Okay. Length, the form works is 16. Where do we get 16? Sixteen is six. I'm sorry, uh, so six. This would be twelve plus six. This is eighteen. This is eighteen. Okay. Sorry, this is eighteen. Where do we get 18? Where do we get 18? Okay. Here. 3 meters plus 3 meters is 6. Plus 6 plus 6. That would be 18. 6 plus 6 is 12. Plus 3 is uh, 15. Plus 3 is 18. So there we have 18. Okay. So this is for the D, huh? Okay, so the width. How do we find the width? The width, huh? The galing of width, okay? Ang width ng beam na ito, 300 mm, yung kanyang size ng beam, plus yung lapping niya na 2 inches. Bakit may lapping? Uh, this would serve as an attachment, okay, for the formworks. We are computing for the formworks area, okay? So the beam section depth plus the lapping, which is two inches, that is fifty mm. This would become three fifty. Okay, three fifty. Wait, this three fifty. Okay. So point twenty five meters. So two sets. Why two sets? Of course, you can see here one set, another set. So two sets. Okay, so we just multiply length width the number of sets of the area. Just put the formula here equals length times width times uh, set number of set C3 C3 is the formula C3 I'm using now Excel okay. so, so this is B3 B3 so there uh, 12.6 okay so 18 times 0.35 times 2 is 12.6 square meter and we put it here on the table. Twelve point six. Twelve point six. Okay. There. Twelve point six. Okay. So we go out to column. Then is three point eight. 
what do we get? 3.8. So, what's the plan? 3 plus 0.8. Explain this on part one by three point eight. Okay, so three point eight. The width is point four. So we get point four. Back to the layout again. This is point four. The pin depth plus the lapping two inches. So fifty plus fifty, one hundred plus three hundred, and it's four hundred. So point four meters. Okay, I hope this is clear. Three hundred plus. 50 plus 50 is 400 and then that is 0.4 meters. Okay. So this is the volume. Okay. I hope you guys get this. So sets 16 sets. Why 16? 8 times 2 is 16. Because we have 8 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. So, each column has two sides. So, that's why we end up 16 sets. And the product now will be 10 times 3, 3.8 times 4, 4 times 16. That would give us 24.32. Put it on the table, 24.32. Okay. That's it. So, we go now to the grasses. is here. So we have to solve first for the value of the components here, the members. So let us start for C. What's the value of C? A ratio in proportion. C over 0.75. Uh, we have divided the three meter length the four equal parts, so that will be 0.75, that is why we end up on this layout. So C over 0.75, ratio of the triangle is the same. A here over 1.5, half of the length, half of the span. A divided by 2 is 1.5, so C over 0.75 is equals to A over 0.75. Substitute, 1 meter to A. If a C is point seven, over 0.75 equals to 1 over 1.5, simply putting in this equation, the answer now is C is 0.5. Okay, so the next member is uh, B, solve for B. So applying here is B, the additional member. Okay, so it also has this one. So, by Pythagorean theorem, B squared is equal to C squared plus 0.75 squared. Okay. So, to find B, we have to get the square root of 0.5 squared plus 0.75 squared. Simply Pythagorean theorem. Using your calculator, the answer is now is 0.9. Please uh, check that in the calculator. Now, let us solve for TC. So, TC, again, this is the top part here. But before, before we solve TC, we must find Y. Here is Y. In order to have this triangle. Okay, see this? So, in order to solve for Y, we use, again, the ratio in the portion of the triangle Y over 1 meter which is the each line okay is equals to a t cost here over 1.5 simply y is 1.0 equals to 1 over 1.5 y is 0.33 so please check this in the calculator if there is any discrepancy you will just uh, make the correction of your own uh, sorry but uh, I think uh, there is an error, just follow the procedure, okay? 
anyway, uh, the procedure is just the same. Whether the body is you know, being corrected, just follow the procedure. Okay? So after after getting uh, the value of y, we can get now tc. tc is equals to square root of 1.33 square plus 2.5 where you get 1.33 here. You have now 0.33 here plus 1 meter. So 1 plus 0.33 is 1.33. So 2.5 is 1.5 plus 1 meter heaps. Okay? So the ratio of the triangle now is here. 1.33. 1.5. So this is now TC. Okay, TC now is 1.33 squared plus 2.5 squared. TC is 2.8 meter. Okay? So all of these values we put here, okay? I think it's better to make this a table, okay? To make a table. So that you guys can easily see here, okay? So, okay. So, A substitute up. So we get one here. A is one. Okay. Then B is point nine. Okay. Then C here is point five. Okay, C. So D C is two point eight. Okay. BC 2.8, this BC, and BC is 3. It's already even. Okay? So, quantity. Of course, I think cost is 1. Okay? Now, so how many sets? 3. Because we have 3 trusses. Okay? Here. Black line here is, present, uh, is representing the process. One, two, the truss layout, okay? Three, so three trusses, okay? So the length in meters will be the product. Multiply length, quantity in the set. One times one times uh, three. Three meters, okay. Then we will convert the length into feet. Okay. How do we multiply? Just multiply meter by three point twenty eight. The answer now will be in feet. Okay, why do we have to get the length in feet? Because of the board. We need to compute the board feet and the formula for board feet is this. So 2 times 4 because uh, the truss is composed of 2 by 4 good number. Okay? So 2 by 4 times the length in feet times the number of set divided by 12 is the formula for board, for the board feet formula. Okay? So applying this formula here. 2 times 4, times length, which is 9.84, times number of sets, which is 3, divided by 12, the answer is 9.68. So we check it in the calculator. So applying the same principle here, for BC, BC, and BC, so we will get the value of board feet. Okay, and then we will sum it up. Okay. I hope you guys can follow. You want to get the board feet of the uh, BC of B. You just multiply 2 by 4 by the length, which is 17.712. Multiply by the number of, of set, which is 3 meters. Okay, and divide it by 12. So the answer is 17.414. Okay, 
in order to find the length in meter that multiplies L times quantity times the number of seconds. Okay. So uh, I hope you guys can follow this. So after getting this, we we'll put this on the table. 244.03. There. Okay. Now we will go to uh, root training, the parlance. Okay. So the parlance now, the length is 8 meters. Where do we get 8 meters? Parlance, okay. Where do we get 8 meters here? 6, the length of the building plus each line at both ends. 1 meter, 1 meter. That will give us 8 meters. Okay. So the quantity is 5. What do we get 5? Based on the layout here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Why 5? Because we compute for the spacing. And the spacing is 2.8. The length of the support. Minus. Going to blow the uh, zoom. So that's okay. So 2.8. Minus 0 0.05. 0 0.05. The building ends here. Here, that is 50 mm, that is 0 0.05 meters. So the length minus the two protruding end ends, okay, and divided by four spaces. I want four spaces, okay. So the answer here is 0.675. S is equals to spacing is equals to. 2.8 minus 0 0.05 minus 0 0.05, close in parentheses, divided by 4. So 0.675 is the spacing of your findings, which is adequate and good because the standard is from 0.55 to 0 0.75. 0 0.55 to 0 0.75. The idea and spacing of findings for uh, 2 by 2 uh, good number. Okay. So, five one half pieces and number of set is two. Of course, two sides must be here. So, first set is here, second set is here. Okay. First set will be here, second set will be here. Okay. That's two sets. <coughs> So, total length in meters, the product 8 times 5, so let's check this one calculator again, 8 times 5, 8 times 2, is 80, okay, convert to feet times uh, 3.28, Answer is 262.4 feet. 2 times 2 times uh, times 19 feet divided by 12. Okay. 2 times 2 times uh, 19 feet times number of sets. At two sets, the answer is 174.93. Okay, then put it on the table. You can put it, uh, use, you can use 175. So the unit here is 40. For the formulas of uh, volume, we use square meter. For the beam, is per meter. For trusses, it's 40. Okay. Here is square meter okay, for the four marks. Okay, the unit here is square meter. So here we use for the okay. So now we are going to compute the unit material cost. Okay, so let us consider one meter length. Consider one meter length. 
to have been on me. This is for the bee, this is for the order. Okay, so I prepare to derive the unit cost uh, for the beam only because uh, mas marami siyang ano, marami siyang component. Uh, the beam has uh, a lot of components compared to the order. So we will use this for the derivation of a uh, unit cost, considering one meter length. Okay? So unit material cost. Components are plywood, one half inch thick, ordinary, two by two column there, and assorted mates. So the units are square meter for two kilograms. So quantity. Where do we get the quantity? For one, for one meter length, the quantity is 0.8 square meter. That is 0.4 times 1 times two sides. Okay. 0.4. Uh, I use 0.4 because uh, the dimension is much bigger. So we are up to for the budgetary for the bigger dimension. Okay, I hope you get my point. Okay, so here it's 0.4 times 1. So the area is 0.8. So it's 0.8 square meter. So the unit price is 250. So how do I get uh, 250? The price of one plywood today, ordinary, is one half inch thick, is 700 pesos. So I divide it by the area of one plywood. One plywood is 1.2 1 by 2.4 is equal to 2.88. Okay. So 700 divided by 2.88 is 250. So that's how I arrived at 250. So the amount that is just the product, 0.8 times 250 is 200 pesos per square meter. So the popular there. Which is called put 8.1. How do I arrive? How do I get at 8.1? So I find the total length. The total length is 0.5 plus 0.5 plus 4 plus 4 plus 0.4 times 6 equals to 24.3 feet. 7.4 meters times 2.3 feet. By the way, how do I get this 0.5? Okay, let's go back to the layout. This is 0.5. Okay. Yeah. 0.5. 0.5. Okay. I hope you get. I hope you understand this 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So there, 0 0.5 plus 0.5. Okay. So plus 4. Where do I get 4? Okay. Here. 1 liter. 2 meters and another 2 on the other side. So that is 4. Okay, try to look at this. This one is 1. The length of this is 1 meter based on this. So 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter, 1 meter. Okay, so this is this. This is this on the other side here, okay? Go together. Okay? So, four plus point four times six. Or do I get point four times six? Right here. So, instead of using this, I use this. Four, one, two, three. On the other side, another three. Six. Okay. So 
the answer now is 7.4 meters. If convert it to feet, that is 3.28. So we have to convert to feet in order to get the mold feet. So 2 times 2 times 24.3, the length divided by 12 is 8.14 feet. Okay, so that is how we get 8.1. I hope you guys can follow. Again, how did we get this coco lumber then? Okay. It's 0.5, two pieces. One, two. It's 0.5 plus 0.5. 0.5 plus 0.5. And plus four. Four. One, two. And on the other side, three and four. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So 4. So 0. 0.4 times 6. It's 0. 0.4 times 6. 1, 2, 3. And on the other side, another 3. Is 6. Because this is what I mean by 0. 0.4. I just use 0. 0.4 here to maximize. Actually, this is just 0. 0.3, but I use 0. 0.4 to maximize. Okay? So, here, here. So, this is 3 on this side, considering 1 meter length. The other 3 is here. Okay? Okay. So, Feet is 24.3. Mold feet now is 2 by 2 by 24.3 divided by 12 is 8.1. So 8.1. Unit price. So this is now the unit price in the market. As I have uh, made a research on this, so you can try your own research. But for me, I'm using now 50, 50 pesos per mold feet here in the Philippines and here in uh, Region 4. Okay. So the amount now is 405. So we will compute now for the nails. This is sorted in kilograms, of course. How do we get the quantity? So this is uh, you, you learning. This is the rule of thumb. In the construction, we use um, 0 0.2 kilograms of nails per square meter. But this is the rule of thumb. So if you have uh, one square meter, then the amount it needs is 0.2 kilograms. So in order to find okay, so this is not sorry, but this is now we have to make corrections here. Okay. So, this is going to be 0 0.8. Sorry, this is 0 0.8. Okay, so 0 0.8. So, 0 0.8 times 0 0.2 is equal to 0.16. I'm sorry that it is 0.16. Okay, point sixteen kilograms. Yes, because the square meter is point eight point sixteen. Going to correct this point sixteen. Point sixteen. Okay, point sixteen. Check. Put the correction. Point. Kilograms. So 0.16 instead of 0.16 kilograms. So 16 kilograms. Okay. Because this is the rule of thumb. For every square meter, you will use only 0.2 kilograms. 
Okay, for four morphs, uh, for four morphs. So this is the square meter for me. Not the board feet. I only uh, compute board feet for the cost. But in order to find me, you will consider the area of the formulas, which is point E. Okay, so this that is the what I'm saying. And now the answer is six. If you will, if you will add, why we will add six point one six one six point two, then we add the uh, three percent allowance. So six thirty four point six. And we will put this on the table. Six three four point six. We can use now six three five. Three five, okay. Six three five. Okay. So there, everything is being corrected now. Okay. I hope you guys follow this. For four marks area, the number of nails. Per square meter is 0.2 kilograms. Okay. So this is assorted. Okay. Now let us go for the this is what I mean of uh, one square meter. For this particular measurement, one meter by one meter, this is one square meter. The number of nails that will could, that could be used is 0.2 kilograms. But we only have 0.8 square meter. So it's going to be less than 0.2. This is Here, okay, 0.8 times 0.8. Okay, so I hope you guys follow this. This is the rule of thumb. You can use this or you can do some research if you want. But oh, I'm using this, I'm using this. Okay, so let's go now to process and group frame for 2 by 4 good number. So, considering one board foot, okay, the unit price is 60 pesos. So, this is now the price 60 pesos per board foot. So, it is multiply 1 times 60 is 60. Okay, so for 2 by 2 good number, unit is bold foot, 1 bold foot is 60 pesos. Okay, 60. Okay, and a kilogram of nails. 0 0.02. How did we get 0 0.02? Again, another rule of thumb. In carpentry works, 0 0.02 kilograms will be used per bold foot. If you have one board foot, the amount of nails that you would use is 0 0.02 kilograms. Okay? The rule of thumb is 2 kilograms per 100 board foot. That's 0 0.02 kilograms per board foot. 0 0.02, the unit price is 7. So find the amount, 1 times 60 is 60, per plus per board foot. Same also with the uh, by two and uh, here kilograms of nails so for uh, one point foot we will use for zero of kilograms times the unit price 70 and 71.4 so the total is 121.4 multiplied by three percent at uh, three percent so 125 so put it in the table, one point five, okay? So here. Okay. So let us 
Sono 2 unit labor cost. Same formula we use for part 1 and 2. Okay, labor cost is salary rate per hour. That is uh, for the carpenter here, that is 600 pesos divided by 8 hours times productivity rate. The productivity rate for corn works is 2 to 3 man hours per square meter. That is standard. Okay? So, in order to find the labor cost, 600 pesos salary rate divided by 8 hours times productivity rate. The answer is 187.5. Can use my bit of okay. Now let us go to trusses. These are for the using columns. For form also, okay. Again, another question here. Typographical error again. Because I just copy paste this on the first part here. So it will be um, point four. Okay. This is point four. Point sixty-five. Okay. So for carpentry works, the productivity is point five to point eight one hours per board foot. So I uh, use point sixty-five. So labor cost now is six hundred. Over 8 hours times 0.65, 1 hours per foot, the answer is 48.75. Okay, so or you can use it. So put these values in the table here. 45 and uh, 190 and 250. Okay, so then 190 here. Everything now is done in formula. So, 24 times 635 is 15.43. Second calculator. Okay. 24.32 times 635. 635. The answer is 15.43.2. Okay. So, you want to find this? 24.32 times 190, that's 4620.8. You want to find this? You add 15.43 plus 462, the answer is this. Okay, so you just check this on the calculator. If there is any discrepancy, you just follow the procedure. Like what we did in part 1 and part 2. Okay. So, we hope you guys are learning new things. Uh, so, uh, maraming salamat mga construct at uh, patuloy na natin natatapos to. Uh, medyo mga kababa pa rin. Ang alampas kalahati na tayo. Sana may natutunan kayo sa ating mga ano, mga videos na ito. Okay, i-recap ko lang. So, ito sa sa ano, sa pagkuha. Okay, sa formworks ng beam. So, ang kailangan natin kasi is per meter. So, may explain ko na ito. Then, width at saka number of set. Form works naman ng column. Ganun din. Then, width at saka set. Tapos, upon natin ang square meter. Okay. Pag may lagay natin ang nakuha ng square meter, lagay lang sa table. Ayan. 24.32 to 12.6. 12.6. Ganun naman sa ano. Sa process naman. Ayan. Okay ito. Tignan natin yung mga components niya. Tignan natin siya para 
Solve natin yung mga haba. Yeah, total. Ang objective natin kasi dito is solve natin yung total na length niya. Kung nakuha yung total length, makukuha natin yung board feet. Tapos total board feet. Okay. Silalagay natin sa table. Yeah. 244.08. Okay. Pero din sa parilina. Okay. Kasi board feet ang uh, presyuhan sa merkado pag mga pagbibili ka ng, uh, ng mga kahoy. So kaya kinuha natin ng board feet. Okay, ito naman, ang ito naman yung formula. I-review nyo lang mamaya uli yung ano, yung uh, video. So, ito naman sa mga unit material ko, simple lang, kung mga consider ka lang naman ng 1 square meter. Okay, yun yun. And ito naman, uh, kinuha natin ang, uh, kinuha natin, sorry, uh, ito yung 1 square meter, representation. pero ang ating consider is 1 meter left. Okay, saan hindi kayo nalilito na. So, ang ikinusider natin is 1 meter length. Yung 1 meter length ng ng, ano, ng uh, beam at saka ng polo para madali natin may derive. Okay? Para mag may derive natin siya ng madali. So, i-review nyo lang ulit. Ito lang ang procedure. Inanap mo yung quantity sa plywood. Sa so, kopo lang doon. Ang mahalaga yung board beam. Tapos, inanap mo rin ang maze. Meron naman tayong ito, rule of thumb sa maze. Pagka sa square meter, ito ang rule of thumb. Okay? So, board foot naman ito. So, ganun din, hinanap natin ang ba ng mga ang quantity niya sa one board foot, ang unit price niya. Ito naman yung nasa merkado na, standard na sa merkado. Sa ngayon na itong presyo, yung isang board foot, naglalaro sa 60. So, ang ginamit ko yung 60, pwede nyo rin i-research kung may ibang price. Basta, ito lang ang papalitan niya. Pero ang procedure, ganun ganun pa rin. Okay? Same procedure. Even if you are in other countries, just use this, this procedure and everything will be easily done. Okay? So, ito naman, ang productivity rate sa board foot, yan, 0.5 to 0.8 man hours per board foot. Standard na rin daw. So, ang ginamit ko dito is 0.65. Then, nasa pagitan siya. Sa ano naman, sa square meter naman, one hour per square meter is 2 to 3 month hours per square meters. So I hope you guys learn new things. At uh, it's now with us to solve the part. Okay? Thank you. Okay, may pahabula akong correction. Yung kanina, yung last part dito. So, this 634.686 is good only for 0.8 square meters. So, you have to divide this by 0.8 in order to have 793.358 pH per square meter. These amounts are good only for 0.8 square meters. So, this times this, we have this. This is only good for PHP per 0.8 per square meters. So divide this by 0.8. The answer now is 793. 793. So put this on the table. It's now 794. Okay. That's the correction. So everything now is being corrected. So see you guys in the next uh, video. Thank you.